Hey, what's up everybody? How you doing? Welcome back to Carpool Gaming and another Skull and Bones video. Another one. That's right, we're back at it again and I'm dancing. Now you might be wondering, why am I dancing? Well, that's because I just completed a successful, legendary cargo haul and these two dudes can't kill me. Yep. This build is amazing. I'm gonna walk through you step by step how you can create this unkillable build. But is this the best in the game? Uh, yeah, I think so. Let's go. Once again, thanks for watching, everybody. Without further ado, ladies and gentlemen, let's get started. But before we do, if you're looking for cheap silver items and more for skulls and bones, you head over to u4gm.com. Use the code Carpool to get five percent off. So thanks for our sponsors today. Now back to that dancing. <laughs> now look, this build is awesome. Let's start off with the weapons. I'm explaining to you why I'm using everything. First off, for our bow weapon, using the ballista. Why? Because it's awesome, and you can get some really good hits on it. For our port, we're using the Zama 3. You can get this from the black market, and then Sherlock Lone Nines is going to be on our starboard side. You can get that from Sherlock. All right. Now, when we come to our stern, we have the Dardanelles gun. You can buy this from the Black Market. You can get that from Legendary Chest Drops as well. And then we're gonna roll with the Marty. You can get that from regular chests as well as you can get this from the Black Market. All right, let's do this for our armor. And this is gonna be essential to make yourself pretty much unkillable. We have a Black Prince armor and it comes with the perk call Resolute. Reduces damage by 50% when the whole health is below 33%. We always wanna be below that. Works perfectly with our first furniture, the rigging station. Recovers 1% whole health per second when whole health is less than 20%. You can get this from the black market as well, but it will set you back 400 sarns, but it's definitely worth it. If you complete this build, I guarantee you, you won't be having any problems in PvP. Furniture slot number two, I went with it's a little bit of more health because that's what I like. and. You know, you can choose something else, totally up to you. Lopentia schematics for a little bit more damage. And then this is essential star board and port powder kegs to increase your damage by 10%. So the Zamazamas and the Sherlock Lone Nines are now 10% more damage. And it is nice. How nice this is? I wanted to try this out. I went into a legendary event. And uh, yeah, this is the way it played out. I started off with just being me and I was like, okay, let me just go ahead and just pick up this chest, shouldn't be any issue. Then when I went to fast travel, I was like, huh, somebody else joined. Okay, that's cool, that's cool. Maybe I could try out my bill. And then another person joined. So now it was on. Now I'm like, okay, we're about to try out this bill. We're gonna head over and pick up this legendary map. We're gonna show you a little bit of PVP and then I'll chime in at the end of the video as we successfully complete our legendary haul. So when I first got to the spot, the other guy was just sitting here waiting, trying to get the map. I was like, give me that. Bam, bashed him with the, <laughs> with the shit, with the brig. Brig is awesome, by the way. And then Sherlock Lone Nines, bloom, 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 got him out the way uh, just a little bit. Now, it is on now. Both of these guys are gonna be coming after me. And that's cool though, that's cool. Right now, I'm still not trusting the bill, right? So I'm still using my, my health kits and stuff like that. You don't need to use anything, all right? You can just focus on getting to where you need to go. You don't really have to worry about dying because you're not going to die. Now, this is pretty awesome, dude, right? We have one guy coming at me, shooting me with his, his Zamas, and then we have another guy coming from behind, and he's shooting at me. I'm getting hit with fire. It looks like I'm about to take an L, right? But I'm not. This is when I knew the build was awesome and I was pretty much unkillable. See that health right there and the sound? That means you are about to die, right? I couldn't really use any health kicks and I was like, you know what? This is the perfect time to see if this build is really good. And yo, I'm not dying. This is insane, right? Now, this guy right here, host, this is when he knew he had messed up. Because, yeah, he was on cooldown for his <laughs> armor ballista. Bam! And now he's swimming with the fishes. Now, I'm pretty sure Chris was like, yo, what just happened? Uh, let me try to take him out. It's not going to happen, Chris. 
it's not gonna happen. So yeah, the build is pretty much unkillable if you couple all of this together on the brig. It is absolutely fantastic. So for the rest of this video, you're gonna be seeing me duke it out with these guys, and then I'm gonna make my way back to port and I'll chime in once I secure the loot. All right, bam, we are here. Now, here's the thing. Um, I think this should totally change in Skulls and Bones. If you get into this zone, you should be automatically should be able to disembark, right? No matter if they firing at you or you firing at them or whatever. So finally, I got the disembark and it didn't disembark. Yeah, you know? So I'm sitting out here and I'm like, you know what, I'm gonna just sit here. I'm just gonna sit here. I mean, it's not like they're gonna kill me anyway. I don't want to float out the zone because I already tried to disembark and if I go out maybe they will just take me out of it, right? Which was actually a really good choice. So here comes Chris yet again and the other guys trying to kill me, but it doesn't matter. I already tried to disembark and eventually the game was going to disembark me. Like I said, they need to fix that. When you get to this zone, you should automatically be able to disembark. They were still able to shoot at me, but it didn't matter because boom, I am here. I have secured the loot and the legendary loot is all mine. And those two dudes, well, they just basically just wasted time. So yeah, my dude, this is why I was dancing at the beginning of the video. Here come these two dudes. I give them a nice little bow. Good try, guys. Good try, but <laughs> not today. Not today. The loot is mine. 
follow this build. I guarantee you're going to have an amazing time. But for right now, that's pretty much going for the video. I hope you truly enjoyed it. As always, if you're new to the channel, how you doing? And welcome. Don't forget to subscribe. Right here at Carpool Game. Blow the white variety of videos. Bring from updates, tips and tricks, guys and news, and a whole lot more. So once again, thanks for watching. And as always, I'll be seeing y'all in the next one. Later.